New England Living is brought to you by Clark, Sub-Zero and Wolf, Kohler and Seven Tide. Welcome to New England Living, I'm Parker Kelly. And I am passionate about art, architecture and design. I also love to travel, meet new people and I'm definitely a foodie. Join me each week as I travel all over this beautiful region showcasing the most spectacular homes and meeting the key players involved in creating them. To top it off, I'll cook up some delicious dish with a chef and we'll finish it off with a celebration of it all. I'm Parker Kelly and this is New England Living. Today I'm on my way to Chatham, Massachusetts, located on the southeast tip of Cape Cod. With a rich history of shipbuilding, salt making, and fishing, so much of Chatham's past and present revolves around the sea. Chatham has a gorgeous coastline. With pristine beaches and estuaries and salt and freshwater ponds, it's classic Cape Cod. In the late 1800s, Chatham became very popular as a summer resort. Right now, about 6,000 people call this home year-round, but that number swells to about 30,000 people in the summer. About 60% of the homes here are summer homes. Hey, guys. How's the beach? Is it good? I'm headed to meet longtime year-round residents, Gail and Steve. Will you help her get in, Hannah, so she can ship? Now, for this couple, everything is about their family. You want me to peel it, or are you going to peel it? They wanted a home that could serve as a private retreat and comfortable space for the two of them for the winter months, and then turn into a big gathering space for the rest of their family and friends in the summer. So I'm going to meet the homeowners and tour the home and talk about life. Then Gail is going to give her kitchen over to a local chef who's going to cook up something amazing. Then we're going to have a dinner party and celebrate New England living in Chatham. And Will, I'm impressed that you swam to the dock twice. <laughs> Your swimming's gotten better. The beginning of the summer, you couldn't do that. What a spectacular place. Absolutely stunning. Hi, Good afternoon, Steve. Parker. Nice to see you. Oh, nice to see you. Thank Come you in, for please. having me over. Hi, Hello. Parker. Hi, Gail. Nice, nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Welcome. Welcome. Wow, what an entryway. Oh, thank you. My thank first you. thought is open and airy and welcoming. Yes, yes. yes. Well, we wanted the air flow right through and mm -hmm. uh, you know, be able to see the, the beach as you come in the front door. So yes, I love the view. That's part of the design. Oh, I love the, the uh, transom, too. Yeah, isn't that yeah. nice? That was an architectural detail. architect, uh, Patrick Ahern. Uh, those are the kinds of details that he focuses on. Beautiful. We call it the great room, and it works very well for a large crowd. We, uh, we've had big crowds here, and then we, we can have, you know, if we only have two or three couples for dinner, we can make it more intimate and more cozy in the winter. And we have a, a really large extended family. Gail has a brother and a sister who live in, right in the area, and they have children and grandchildren, and so it's not unusual for us to have a big crowd on a Saturday night. I, I love the fireplace. Tell me about the fireplace. Well, the, the uh, fireplace was uh, our stonemason's idea, actually. The original plan was for a very traditional fireplace, and he felt like there was enough of that in the house already. Why not go with uh, field stone? We just said, sure, why not? And uh, we, we really love it. It's, it's, uh, it's really a nice feature. Oh, very nice. Now, and those are Marvin windows. <laughs> they are Marvin windows. Yeah. Wow, every direction. Yep. Gorgeous. So much of the year, we, we have it open just like this. The outdoors just comes in. Wow, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, we love it. Okay, so this is the fun part where you tell me all about your family. Oh, that's always fun for me. <laughs> we have four children, um, three daughters. The oldest two are married, and we have five grandchildren. We love when they come down here. They love it here. Um, they think Cap Cape Cod is Chatham. Okay. They call the house Cape Cod. We're going to Cape Cod, and their mother will say, well, you're going to Chatham. No, I'm going to Cape Cod. <laughs> so when we built um, this house, we wanted it to, to accommodate having the whole family here and be comfortable. We've had other homes in Chatham that we've loved dearly, but as our family expanded, um, it, the space was just too small. 
So what do they call what do they call you? Um, your grandkids call you. They call me Mimi. Mimi. Mimi's gonna give us grapes. And our dog is Mia. <laughs> so I always kid that I actually think she was trying to call the dog. Oh, <laughs> but, but instead it was Mimi, so that's me. So uh, can I see more of Mimi's house? Can I oh, see I uh, Mimi's dining room? Absolutely. I'd, I'd love, love to show you. Okay, let's go. <laughs> This is the dining room, Parker. Very nice space. Where, um, obviously we have a nice big table, we can have lots of people. Um, I, I, this is one of my favorite rooms in the house, really. Um, I don't know, we just have a lot of good conversation around the dinner table. We just, this is where we come together. So, it's just, uh, just a nice vibe in here, yeah. Yeah. We enjoy it. This is what you call it, the secret The secret You wouldn't even know. <laughs> right. I love it. And then when we get down here, we have our own, our master bedroom suite. This is your space. Our space. <laughs> this is your space. This is definitely our space, yes. We have our bedroom, and Steve has his office. Yeah, the uh, office, right that's off a very room. nice view. He has a beautiful view. And early on, he had trouble getting any work done, but he's... He's made the adjustment and is able to get some work done and still enjoy the view. So up we go. So this is this area I couldn't name before. <laughs> Kids do puzzles here. It's just it's just living space up here. It's just a beautiful spot to be, which is why I, you know, when I have work to do that I can stay in one place for a while, I often come up here. These go out to a covered porch oh, area. Look at that, yeah, which we love. And again, you know, as you get up higher, the views get even prettier, so it's um, lovely to sit up here. And what am I looking at right here? Nantucket Sound. Mm -hmm. Nantucket Sound. And so cozy. Yes. And covered, if there's a little bit of rain, obviously you've got a little protection here from wind or rain. And a lot of different wood also. Mm -hmm. Some mahogany and some reclaimed barn mm -hmm. wood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of the builders said, if there's ever a big storm, can I come to your house because it's not going anywhere. Steve and Gail gave me a walking tour of their property. The landscape design and grounds are impeccable. We have a uh... Extensive hardscaping, in addition to the bluestone walkways, our hardscaper built the stone walls and uh, the sunken patio. Uh, he really did quite a great job for us. The landscape designer, he very much wanted the idea that you, you have the framing here and then sort of across the lawn is the sunken garden and the steps down to it. And we have this, this outdoor grill, which... Um, it's a wolf, so you know it's good. It's very nice. It's very, very luxurious. I cook a lot of fish and steaks and other things. On the 4th of July, we'll have 30 people here for, for a cookout. So you need a big grill, and you got to move those hamburgers along. Oh, what do you think, Mia? You like it? You like? She's looking for dinner. Patrick Ahern. I'm the architect of the project. So you're going to continue to build Patrick oh, yeah. Ahern homes mm -hmm. in Chatham. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see him like get an nice office light. down here. Yeah. <laughs> Getting started on a new kitchen project? Let us evaluate how you use your kitchen to make sure your update will work for you. Let a trained Kohler professional help you create the best design to suit your needs. This tip is brought to you by Kohler Signature Store, by Supply New England. With eight generations of exquisite craftsmanship, Kumar brings a whole new meaning to passion and precision. Their treasures come from remote corners of the earth, traveling across many oceans. The Kubi family brings to the United States the largest selection of exotic stones. Kumar, when only the finest will do. Shoreline Pools has become Cape Cod's largest builder. They're a team of dedicated and creative professionals that build pools where memories are made and good times are shared with friends and family. They specialize in 3D design, so you can see what pool will fit the best for your home. Shoreline Pools doesn't just build pools, they build dreams.
So Parker, one of the things that I think is really interesting about this piece of land mm -hmm. is that it is a site for the National Geodetic Survey, which goes all the way back to 1868. Back in 1868, uh, Congress decided that we needed to have a national survey of the country, and particularly the coast, because they wanted to understand a little bit more about erosion. There's this marble plaque here uh, that we've embedded in the patio that describes that it's the National Geodetic Survey from 1868. When they established the spot, they built a 100-foot wooden tower. Oh, so there used to be a tower here? There was a tower right over, directly over this particular spot oh, wow. back in 1860, 1868. Um, and this is still a, a sort of a, a, a marked spot. Parker, I, we've talked a lot, and Gail has talked a lot about that, uh, the various aspects of the house that we love. There's one aspect of the house that I'm particularly proud of, and that is that we're, we're quite hurricane-proof. We, in addition to meeting the building codes here in Chatham, we also uh, went to an organization called the Institute for Business and Home Safety. We are the first house in Massachusetts to be IBHS certified. And I'm, I'm quite so, pleased you know with that. everyone's coming if there is a hurricane. Yeah, they yeah. come to my house. <laughs> yeah. And now, um, I would really love to go... Up top. During the early design stages of the house, I said that I wanted the Widow's Walk. And part of the reason is because it was very evident to me that the view would get better the higher up you went. So I said I want a Widow's Walk. Patrick was kind enough to design the house with a Widow's Walk. And the, then the issue became, well, how do we get up to the Widow's Walk? So Doug Whitlock came up with the idea, why not do ship's ladders and have a platform midway that'll sort of break it up so it's not like this gigantic run of a ladder up Plus to the- Plus aesthetically pleasing. Yes, so it works very well. Oh my, you were not kidding. Wow. And we have quite a panoramic view. We, uh, this is the Oyster River over here to our left. You go past the Stage Harbor Lighthouse and out, and this is all Nantucket Sound here. The kids love to come up here. As soon as it gets dark, they're like, Can we go up here? Can we go and up? And I love, even the rooftops are just incredible to look at. Yeah, this eyebrow window um, this was a real labor of love for the guys who did the, the shingle work. I mean, the, the house has lots of angles and lots of detail, fussiness about, about it. We were very fortunate. I think we yes. had a great team to, to help us. Mm -hmm. I was very impressed when Patrick did his reveal, yes. which is just so much fun. He, he interviewed us at length, and then he went, said, now go, I'll, you go away and I'll call you when I'm ready. And five weeks later he called and said, come on up to Boston, I'm ready to show you the initial plans. And he had them all covered. He went and sat in his conference okay. room and he, voila. voila, here is your house. Tell me about some of the details that you're most proud of in this piece, I mean, it's, it's exquisite. Well, I think the best thing thing I can say about the house is that it looks like it's been there forever. And that was the whole context of what we were trying to do. We saw this as an opportunity in a historic town, a Chatham is, to um, create something that might change the tide in that neighborhood. So tell me a little bit about, because one of the things that they said about you was, he was such a good listener. There was a comfort zone that we developed together and a trust. So it's all about trust mm -hmm. and we would, um, we talk and say, well, tell me a little bit about yourself and, you know, like, which side of the bed do you sleep on yeah. and, uh, you know, what, do you like to wake up with sun in the morning or you don't? So you have to get to know people very personally to be successful. Tell me about the, uh, the windows and how you, you worked, obviously you won an award, an I honorable did. mention for this yeah. from Marvin. Right. When you first walk in there and those, those French doors. One of the overriding goals was to create this indoor-outdoor experience. And then, so we said, how can we open up the house so that in the summertime it opens up, but in the wintertime, again, this being really their primary house now, mm -hmm. what's it like in the winter in a snowstorm or, or a gale, you know, wind going through everything and the, make sure that it doesn't leak and, and rain goes sideways and things like that. So we wanted to get a good product that would work well with the weather. So uh, the Whitlam brothers. Great. Um, Doug's yeah, terrific. Yeah, talk about, talk about your relationship working with the builder and, and what is the dance the architect and the builder do? Well, as I said to, um, to Steve and Gail, it's really important that the architect and the builder have a good working relationship and hopefully have had an experience or two or more prior to this project. I've had the benefit of working with Doug in multiple locations uh, for many, many years. And um, 
as I say, we see with the same eyes. Builder Doug Whitla has his degree in historic preservation, and he summered in Chatham, so he was a great fit for Gail and Steve. After the years building the home together, they now consider themselves friends. Doug and his wife Anne stopped by to talk to me about the home. We completed this about two years ago. Uh, it's a Patrick Ahern design, and I do a lot of work with Patrick. And uh, we've, Gail and Steve came to me a few years ago, brought Patrick in, and he had a great vision here. And they wanted it to be fun. And you can read some clients, uh, and you can tell they're going to be involved clients. And these guys were great. They were wonderful. They, uh, you know, they had particular pieces that they wanted to work into the house and cuckoo clock and things like that. And the other thing that I love about it is that they were building this, and it's a big house. They were yeah. building it so that their kids would come and their grandchildren would come, and it would be that summer feeling that. You know, they were, they were moving down here permanently, but their kids could all come, and, it, it, and the house does it. It has details, it has, it has what people want for their summer house. I'm so happy to be here on Main Street with uh, Heather McGrath at her uh, beautiful, I would say that it was an antique home here that is uh, your, your design shop. It is our design shop. It is like a home for us. We spend at least as much time here as we do at home. Gail's home. Yes. <laughs> Tell me about that project, because I bet that was, not only is the view stunning, but just the, the structure of the home itself. Tell me about working with Gail and that project. Uh, Gail and Steve were awesome to work with, and the project, um, we, we got in right in the beginning with uh, Doug Whitla and, and Whitla Brothers. Uh, so we were able to take the time to plan it right, um, every aspect. Of, of the design um, we had our fingers in and, and it was really fun working with a homeowner to get exactly what they envisioned they wanted to you know, they wanted to see what they wanted to see now tell me also about the whole coastal theme because I think a lot of people can overdo the coastal absolutely <laughs> you know too, too many, many too starfish, many yeah, too, too many, many shells <laughs> but it, you had a really nice balance I felt it was coastal but I didn't feel like I was walking into a a, a shop that sold coastal things. Absolutely. You know how that's the difference? I try very hard to, to A, let the client speak and learn what they want to see for color and texture, and then B, I will try and direct them to, to balance that out and not be too heavy on any one thing. And in exa for an example, her living room, uh, we had the blues and the greens. We didn't actually do shells in the living room. We did a more modern thing because she really wanted to, you know, update, go to an updated feeling. And so we had some pattern on the chair and then we went with a very simple window treatment but it was such a beautiful big window right that it just doors. you just all you did was look outside you weren't looking at the window treatment even though you felt it well done thank you beautiful home thank you. and uh, and just a feast for the eyes oh, well, it's been a lot of fun they were awesome to work with so Parker I, I told you I was a bit of a gadget freak <laughs> This is called Control 4. Steve is crazy about gadgets. His home is filled with innovation and technology. So I asked him to give me a tour and show me some of his favorites. When we were looking at plumbing fixtures, um, one of the things I discovered is that they now make uh, electronic plumbing fixtures. So that rather than having a mixer in here, oh, there's no handle there. There's no handle. Instead, you just push a button and it immediately comes up. You know, digital age is coming even to your shower. The house is pretty smart. Um, we went ahead and uh, obviously we have a lot of circuitry wow. involved. Part of the reason we have so much electrical circuitry involved is because the electrical system is computerized. All the lights in the house are programmable. Over here we have a, uh, the, the, the televisions are all networked into this. The audio system we have a, throughout the house so we can have music um, pretty much everywhere. Nice mix. Good. <laughs> Beautiful striped bass. And with bass, you want to keep it as clean and simple as possible and just let the flavor of the fish speak for itself. Innovation, technology, design. It is why the Seaport District is the fastest growing area in Boston. It's also the reason we selected the Innovation District as the home of Seven Tide. If you're looking for a one-of-a-kind experience filled with design inspiration, a place where you can explore, see your ideas come to life, 
this is the place. Think of Seven Tide as a design adventure for your home, featuring the most trusted top tier brands in their industries. For homeowners and designers alike, it's a unique approach to home design. You can visit Clark's newest Sub-Zero and Wolf showroom and test kitchen, giving you hands-on access to the world's finest appliances, or take in the country's first experience center for Marvin windows and doors. Our goal is to provide inspiration in an exceptional space that offers a relaxed and very personal experience. We don't sell anything here. If you like what you see, we'll refer you to an authorized dealer. But while you're at Seven Tide, there's no pressure. Even the parking is complimentary. We want to cultivate an atmosphere that's free from anxiety so you can focus on what's right for the design of your home. New England has some of the finest designers in the country, and here you'll see an exciting array of their work in full-scale kitchens. You'll be able to see, touch, and even taste your kitchen design. Both inside and out, Seven Tide offers the perfect setting to bring your ideas to life. We want you to rethink what's possible. Adjacent to Clark, you'll find Marvin windows and doors. They offer a high-tech, high-touch experience that invites you to reset your expectations for what a home can be. After visiting Marvin, you'll never think about windows and doors the same way again. Whether you're a homeowner or a designer, building a new custom home or remodeling, we invite you to come experience the possibilities. Come be inspired, be informed, and ultimately be at home at Seven Tide. For more information for your home inspiration, visit SevenTide.com. Yours by design. Tonight, Gail and Steve are going to have a dinner party, and that's why I'm here. I'm going to go meet Sue Connors. She's the owner and chef of Pisces, a local favorite restaurant known for its Mediterranean coastal cooking. Now, Sue really cares about buying fresh and local, so she's going to take me to some of her go-to places in town so we can get everything we need to make an amazing meal tonight. So uh, where are we going to go first? We're going to go to Chatham Fish and Lobster. That's where I get most of my fish from, and I'm really excited to go down there and see what they have today. How are you doing? Hey, Kate. How are you? Good. Hi. Good to see you. How are you? I was wondering if we have any striper available, and it looks like we you do. do. Just came off the truck. Oh, terrific. Liz literally was swimming this morning. Looks beautiful. It really does. What a great resource. Oh, it's a tremendous resource. We couldn't do business without them. Yeah, They're so really where do we terrific. Go next? Why don't we go down to the Chatham Cheese Shop? Yep. And we can pick out some nice cheese for our salad that we're going to do tonight. And maybe we can pick out some wine while we're here. That sounds good, too. We're going to meet with Heather. She's the owner here at the Chatham Cheese Shop. Hi, Hi Heather. How are you? So we were hoping that you had a Vermont goat cheese. Lake's Edge, and it's got a line of vegetable ash in the center of it. It's just delicious. That's very, very nice. This is a beautiful classic French rosé called Cloud Chaser. It is sunset in the glass. Vermont goat cheese, French wine. Oh, this is we're... going to be quite a soiree. I'm well, how are you? Good, nice to see you again. Nice to see Hi, you. Hi, Steve, nice as promised. You. Yes, excellent, excellent. Come in. Come in. So what do we start with? We're going to start with a grilled vegetable platter. Um, we have some beautiful produce here, um, summer vegetables that we're going to slice up. Local zucchini? Yes, local zucchini. Okay, so we have the, this is the summer squash and we have the zucchini. I love eggplant. Beautiful. Doesn't that look good so far? Not even cooked in the I know, beautiful. I know. Okay, Chef, what's next? Okay, we're going to work on the salad next. Um, we have a, a nice array of ingredients. We have the goat cheese that we um, picked up from the cheese shop. We're just going to drizzle it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. We're going to cut up some strawberries because they're going to taste delicious with the goat cheese. We have some toasted walnuts here, and these are some dried cranberries, or as people know them, craisins. Mm -hmm. We have a little bit of toasted breadcrumb here, too. A mm -hmm. little bit of garlic butter in there, and then we take the, um, the goat cheese disc, and we just lightly coat it in this, and it's going to give it a, a nice crispiness. We're going to finish it in the oven. We have the beautiful striped bass, which is a very uh. short season here on the Cape. Um, and you can see the color of the fish is a beautiful pink color, and it has a little bit of red in it. So we're going to grill it. Now that we have everything portioned out, all we need to do is simply season it with a little bit of salt and pepper, okay. and then I brush it with a little bit of garlic butter before I grill it. Okay, Ann, we're cooking with gas here, as they say. 
So you're going to do some grilled vegetables, some fresh grilled vegetables. We talked about doing something really simple for the bass, and so what we're going to do is a mango salsa. That is a perfect mango. Um, a little bit of red pepper. Is that for color or for texture or taste? Or a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. A little bit of ginger root Ginger's great here. for digestion also. It is. And then, of course, for spice, we're going to add the jalapeno pepper. Okay, and then we have the scallion. The mild part is nice for a salsa. And then we have cilantro, which is uh, one of my favorite herbs, and a lime, which is going to pair really nicely with all of the flavors that are in there. And then we add a little bit of pineapple juice just to give it a tropical edge. And this is going to go beautiful with the bass, and it's also going to add a nice color punch. Okay, Anne's doing well out in the grill. She is. Yeah, she's with Gail and the kids, and they're uh, getting a little lesson on how to grill out there. It's just so cute. What do we have going in here? We have uh, freshly baked focaccia from Pisces, and we brought some along. We're going to warm it up in the oven, and we have all the fish that Anne grilled, and we're just going to finish it in the oven. Set at 350 mm -hmm. for? It'll take about 20 minutes. And then we'll put the bread in the bottom oven. That's handy. Oh, this is wonderful. She's got a great setup, doesn't she? She sure does. Venture inside. Go ahead, dive in. The GMC Sierra. We are professional grade. Pursuit, built to a higher standard. Many try to replicate. Pursuit continues to innovate. We have boats from 23 to 38 feet, and once you own one, you will feel the difference. We know you have a choice, and you can put your trust in us to deliver a vessel that will take you where you want to go. Visit your factory authorized dealer today and experience the passion we have built into each and every one of our boats. Visit PursuitBoats.com and explore, experience, enjoy your life in pursuit. All the guests are starting to arrive. You feel the energy? I do. It's I getting do. exciting. It's Is this exciting. what it's like in the back of the restaurant? Too? No, not at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> but you do. You kind of you do get charged by the energy in the dining room, and we can hear the transition as the night goes on from the early diners to the later diners, and, and it's fun. Hi, Patrice. Flowers are such an important part of a table setting, so we invited Chatham florist Patrice Malay to stop by. Now. Patrice did both of Gail's daughter's weddings, and Gail thinks her work is beautiful. So she offered to give some color to our party. I love the colors, don't you, Gail? It looks like you're going to have a wonderful night. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for much. adding to it. So beautiful. For 20 minutes. 20 minutes. You, you can relax for 20 minutes, right. check on our guests. Chasing Cloud. It's from France. Excuse me, everyone. I think dinner is all ready if you're ready to come on inside and enjoy it. <laughs> So bon appetit, everyone. It's great to have you here. Magnificent setting, beautiful friends and family, and delicious, local, fresh food. That's New England Living in Chatham. Cheers.
New England Living is brought to you by Clark, Sub-Zero and Wolf, Kohler and Seven Tide. Thank you.